In this tutorial, I'm going to show you something really exciting. This is our new member access controls feature. It allows you to limit social features within your community based on membership level, profile type, game impress rank, and much more. This is a pro feature that requires the BuddyBoss Platform Pro plugin. Anybody who has purchased our BuddyBoss theme automatically has access to the plugin. Make sure to update to the latest versions of BuddyBoss Platform, BuddyBoss Platform Pro, and BuddyBoss Theme. As this is a major feature update, it impacts many areas of the product. Our motivation for creating this access control feature was to solve a problem that we know many of our customers experience. Our customers are using a variety of membership plugins to charge access to their communities. While these plugins do a great job at controlling access to page and post content based on membership level, most of them do not have deep integrations with BuddyBoss Platform for controlling what access members have within the community. We decided the best thing for the customer would be for us to create our own set of access controls for controlling member access within groups, within activity, messages, photos and documents, and connections. And then we built support for the most popular membership plugins to allow them to hook into those access controls out of the box. This way we have a consistent set of controls that our team is actively maintaining and expanding. And as customers, you can pick and choose your preferred membership plugin based on their core features, worrying less about how they integrate with BuddyBoss, and they will all control access within your community the same way. And this has a second advantage, which is that it gives us a consistent set of access controls to sync into the BuddyBoss app using a single set of APIs. This means that everything I'm about to show you works in BuddyBoss app. In order to configure this Create Groups access, you'll need to make sure that Enable Social Group Creation by All Members is enabled. And then only members that meet the filter specified under Create Groups will see the Create Group button or be able to access the Create Group page on the front end. And only members that meet the filter specified under Join Groups will see the button to join public groups or request access to private groups on the front end of the website. We use these same filters across all components. I mentioned earlier that our motivation for building this feature was to support a variety of membership plugins so that you could easily control access within the community based on membership. But then we went ahead and added a variety of additional filters to give you even more power. In this first release, you can limit access by the following filters. A member's WordPress role, such as editor or subscriber, a member's profile type. Only if you have profile types enabled and configured in the profile settings, otherwise this will appear grayed out in the list. If I go into Buddy Boss Profiles and go to Profile Types, you can see I've configured Teacher and Student Profile Types. And coming back here, those are the ones that are available to me to choose from. We can limit access based on Game Impress, Achievements and Ranks. This is only if you have the Game Impress plugin activated. In my site, I've configured these achievements in here. We can see advanced, beginner, and intermediate. These are the same ones that are here to select from. And of course, we can control access based on membership level, as I've mentioned before. In this list, you'll only see the membership plugins that you have activated on your site as available to click and select from. We've also added LearnDash and Lifter as they have their own membership components. So if I select MemberPress, for example, it gives me these three membership levels to pick from. That is because in MemberPress, I created these three membership levels, and so they appear as options to me to select from. And then we also let you control access based on gender. This only works if you have the gender profile field added in the profile field settings. The reason we've added support for gender is because some of our customers are building dating or matrimonial communities, and they've asked us in the past for the ability to control access in their community based on gender, and so we've added that for those users. This is a big foundational feature. We've provided a lot of filters out of the box, and in future releases, we'll be adding even more, as well as the ability to combine filters. Let's go ahead and apply some filters. Let's start with membership. And I'll say that only members who have the gold member press membership are able to create groups. And I'll do the same for joining groups. So now only members who have the gold member press membership level will be able to join a group. Note that whichever filters you select will not apply to users who have the administrator WordPress role. Let's go ahead and click Save Settings. Let's go see how this looks in the front end for a regular member. Okay, so here I am on the front end, logged in as a member who no longer has access to create or join groups. This member, Trent, has a membership of Silver, 
And just a moment ago, we set it so that only members who are gold can create or join groups. If I come over here to the groups page, you'll see that the create a group button is not showing for this member. And neither is the join group or request access button on any of these groups. If I go into a group, you'll see the join group or request access button also is not available here. Now let's configure the access control settings for activity posts. Here I am at Buddy Boss Settings Activity. Let's scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a new section called Activity Access. Here you can control which members are able to create activity posts. Members who are without access will not see the form to create new activity posts in the activity page or the timeline in their profiles. There are a couple of scenarios where these filters will not apply. Again, they won't apply to administrators. In addition, they also won't apply to activity feeds in groups. Let's go ahead and select a filter. For this one, I'll go with Game Impress. And then I'll say that only members who have achieved the intermediate or advanced achievement should have the ability to publish into the activity feed. Let's click on Save Settings. Now let's see how that looks in the front end. Okay, so now I'm on the activity page, logged in as a member who no longer has access to create activity posts. This member, Luna, has not earned any Game of Press achievements yet. You'll see that the form to create activity posts is no longer showing. And if I go to the timeline in my profile, it's also not showing in the timeline here. Now let's jump to the WordPress admin to configure the access controls for messages. Here we are at BuddyBoss Settings Messages. This is a new setting screen that will only appear in BuddyBoss Platform Pro and we can see it has the messages access. Here you can control which members can send private messages. Members without the required access won't be able to send messages on the messages page or in groups. However, they'll still be able to send group messages as long as the group organizer has activated that setting in the group settings. The filters work slightly differently for messages. You're able to not only filter which members can send messages, you can also specify filters for the members they're allowed to message. For example, if we select profile type, we can set it so that only teachers can send messages, and I could say that they can send messages to any member, or I could restrict it further and say that teachers can only send messages to students. Let's go ahead and save these settings. Now let's see how that looks in the front end now that access to messaging has been limited. Here I am on the front end viewing the members directory. Let's search by types. We can see which members are students. So this member Trent is a student and let's filter by teacher and we can see Jessica is a teacher. So I'm going to view as Jessica. Come back to the members directory. And we can see as I scroll through these members that I can no longer message anybody except for Trent. If I click on Margaret's profile, for an example, I cannot send her a message. But Trent, I can send a message. And the reason I'm able to do this is because I'm a teacher and he's a student. And as a teacher, I can only send messages to students. Here I am in a group for which I'm an organizer, and I'm just showing you the Send Messages tab. In this update, we've reorganized the structure of the Send Messages tab to make it more obvious what's going on. So you have one tab for sending the group message. This is the one that has the group icon on it and includes all group members. And then a separate tab for sending private messages to members from within the group. So as long as I've been given access to send group messages in the group settings, I will always have this ability to send a message to the entire group. But if I go over to send private message, we can see in my list of group members who can be recipients of the private message that I can only select from Trent because he is the only group member who is a student and I'm a teacher. By separating this interface into two tabs, we've made it more clear that one type of message is a message to all members of the group, which everybody can participate in always, and the other tab is for sending private messages to people who happen to be members within your group. And this follows the same logic as private messaging does in your regular messaging inbox. Now we'll configure the access controls for media. Here I am at Buddy Boss Settings Media. Let's scroll down to the bottom and we'll see a new section called Media Access. These settings won't apply to uploading media into groups or attaching media in group activity posts, forum discussions or replies, or group messages. Those options are still controlled by the settings specified by group organizers in each of the group settings. Let's go ahead and apply some filters to each of these. 
We'll limit who can upload photos based on their WordPress role. I'll say that only users who have the editor or author role can upload photos. And we'll do the same thing for uploading documents. And again, note that these settings do not apply to administrators or to group media. And let's click on Save Settings. Now let's jump into the front end to see how the ability to upload photos and documents has been limited for members that don't match these filters. We can see this member Charles Braden is a subscriber. He is not an editor and he's not a contributor. So we're going to view as Charles. Let's go to our activity page. And you'll see that when I go to create a new activity post, I no longer see the icons to upload either photos or documents. Similarly, these icons will be removed when sending new private messages or posting new forum discussions or replies. However, I may still see these icons inside of groups as long as the group organizer has the upload photo or document settings enabled in the group settings. I also cannot upload photos or documents from my profile or from the photos or documents directories. You can see I have no button to add a new photo. And lastly, we can control connection access. Here I am in BuddyBoss settings connections. This one works similar to how messages works in that not only can I control who can send connection requests, but we can also control what types of members they can send those requests to. So for this example, let's use LearnDash. LearnDash has a feature called LearnDash Groups, which they also market as a membership system. And similarly, Lifter LMS has Lifter LMS memberships. So in this example, I'm going to say, only members who are in the Classroom One LearnDash group slash membership are able to send connection requests. And they can only send connection requests to other members of the Classroom One LearnDash group. And I'll go further and say, only members who are in Classroom Two can send connection requests and only to other members who are also in Classroom Two. If I come up here to LearnDash and we look at groups, we can see classroom one and classroom two. So let's go ahead and save these settings. And now we can go see how this looks on the front end. So here we are looking at the classroom two settings and we can see for the users list, there are two members who are part of classroom two, Jessica and Trent. Let's go to Jessica and I'll view as Jessica. Let's click on Maverick's profile. I cannot send him a connection request. Let's click on Trunt's profile and I can send him a connection request. The reason I can send him a connection request and nobody else is because I'm in classroom two and so is he, and I am only allowed to send connection requests to other members who are also in classroom two. We're so excited to launch this feature. We know so many of you have been requesting it and we're proud to finally release it. We're going to continue extending it, not only by adding more filters, but also by adding further options to control more of the BuddyBoss experience, both in existing components and ones we are yet to release.